Hey Spoonies, it's James Allen from Chronic Insights. I'm here today to talk about hip pain um, and specifically this uh, pedal exerciser. We'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, I think it'll help people if, if you have um, hip pain that's caused by ankylosing spondylitis. Um, before I go on though, uh, I should just note that I have ankylosing spondylitis and that's what I know. Um, if you have hip pain that's caused by something else, this might not apply to you. Obviously, uh, if you're going to make any changes, um, you should think about how it impacts you. You know more about your condition or your hip pain than I do. Um, and obviously, consult your doctor or your physio before making any changes. So once now that we've got that out of the way... Um, and talk about ankylosing spondylitis and, and hip pain in general. Um, if it's caused by a kind of inflammatory arthritis or an autoimmune condition like AS, it tends to be the fact that um, movement and exercise helps. Even just doing simple exercises at home, going for a walk can be practically just very, very difficult to do. Maybe your hip pain is, is so bad that you can't actually stand and walk very far at all. Maybe you're on crutches. Um, there's just all sorts of additional um, issues that come into play when you have this kind of chronic condition. And one of the things that I eventually found that helped was something like this, this pedal exerciser. And I'll tell you why. Um, it. I, I was in a situation where I, I, I was in using two crutches and I could barely get from my bed to the sofa. That was the main thing that I did um, most days during during this eight months long flare up. Um, and and so I was faced with this um, real difficult situation. How do I exercise? How do I keep my joints moving? How do I do all the things that I know will help when I'm in so much pain and so much? I have so much stiffness and and. Uh, mobility problems. I tried getting an exercise bike and that was just too uncomfortable to, to actually sit on. Um, I tried all sorts of things. Um, treadmill was also quite difficult. Um, uh, and I tried all sorts of different things. Um, and then I came across this. And the advantage of, of this that I found is that you can actually just place it in front of your sofa at home or in front of a chair and you can just use the pedals to exercise your legs and your hip joints and you can just go be as gentle as you need to be to be able to just get that movement going in your hips um, just to loosen start to loosen things off I, I found this uh, this was the only you know on really bad days this was the only thing that I could actually do to help my hips I just needed something to to move the hips because if they if I just wasn't moving them the pain got worse. It was just this sort of throbbing ache uh, constantly. But I found that if if I could just have this gentle movement going, it just it helped to ease the pain off a little bit. And the fact that I could put this in front of the sofa meant that even on my worst days it was there, um, and I could just watch TV um, and just have this in front of me and I could just move my hips. It was, um, it would, it definitely helped, it definitely helped. So you can get all sorts of different kinds of pedal ex exercises, but what I would strongly recommend if you're interested in trying this is get a magnetic resistance pedal exerciser. You'll see a couple of different types as just a simple mechanical style. Um, which is just literally, it's just like a, a bicycle um, mechanism. Um, and you'll also see these uh, magnetic resistance ones. The downside to the magnetic ones is they are quite heavy because they do have this magnet inside them that actually, so it's the magnet that causes the resistance um, to you pushing the pedals and it's adjustable. That's one of the really good things about the magnetic ones is they're pretty much all, I, I think, um, adjustable in terms of the resistance. You can, so you can turn it to very light, um, which is why I had it on a lot of the time because I literally just couldn't put 
force or power uh, through my hips. It was too painful. All, all I needed was just something to place my feet on and be able to move. It was just simply the movement. I wasn't trying to exercise or get out of breath or strengthen, uh, you know, go do a sort of power workout. It's literally just getting movement back. Um, so the magnetic resistance one um, helps you fine tune um, very nicely the, the amount of resistance that you need to put into the pedals. But the other really great thing about the magnetic uh, ones is the fact that it's super, super quiet. It's really whisper quiet. I mean, I can barely hear that. Isn't that fantastic? And this is really important because if you're gonna use this at home, watching the TV, on the sofa, just chilling out, and you're living with other people, um, what you don't want is one of those mechanical types that actually has all these sort of rattles and clinks and clunks and you know, all these noises that you'll find with this mechanical version. Uh, because that, you know, if you're sitting with a friend or with your loved one and there's this sound. Uh, you know, it can be really distracting for the other person. Um, and that's not ideal, obviously. This is, this is the kind of thing that you want to be able to live with at home. So uh, that's why I would recommend the, the magnetic ones because they're just whisper quiet. You can barely hear them, uh, which is which is a, a big bonus. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I recommend with this, especially if you have carpets, um, if it's going to be on a carpeted floor, is to maybe get a non-slip mat. Um, one thing that I found with this is because you're sort of pushing away on it, it'll tend to, as you sort of moving, it'll tend to creep further away from you. And so you end up in the situation where it's just move, it's constantly moving away. Is happening. And then you have to sort of drag it back uh, and then it just does the same thing again. So the only thing that really helps that um, is a, a non-slip mat. So I would I would recommend getting one of those. So check it out. Um, I got a look for a link um, in the description underneath the uh, video. Uh, it'll be an affiliate link which I get a small commission from um, just helps support what I'm doing. Um, I don't. I haven't been paid in any way um, by any company to to demo this product, and this is one that I bought myself. I'm just telling you about it because I found it useful, and I hope that you will find it useful as well. Check out my Symptom Diary app as well. Um, it's available on uh, the Google Play Store, and it'll be available soon on the iOS App Store. Um, you can see details on my website, chronicinsights.com, how to install. Uh, how to install it and use it. Um, also find me on Instagram at Chronic Insights. And if you found this useful, just uh, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Helps me know that what I'm doing is useful to other people. Uh, and that's it. So till the next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Unique New York. Unique New York.